the Thomas and Friends games, world's strongest engine, robot school. Wait a minute, we're missing some minis. Oh, don't worry about that. I can't go fetch you some minis that just rolled off the factory line. If only I can figure out on my GPS how to go find them. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry about that. Let me try again and get my bearings. Let me see. I think it's right over there. No, it's that way. No, no. It, it, it is definitely this way. Here I go on my way to fetch some new minis for this awesome competition. Must find minis. Minis have been located. Returning them to competition now. Competition will begin shortly. Sorry for the delay. Thanks, Mip. That's much better. Shh! Don't tell anyone, but I'm not actually a Robo Mini. There will be a Robo Mini waiting at each end of the track. The Mini on the losing side will join us here in Robot School. I am Mip, one of your teachers, and this here is Moby, who will also be teaching you. Hello, I am Moby. We will learn all kinds of fun, exciting subjects today. Let's get started with Luke versus Mike. Hello there, it's so nice to have our first student. Today, you will be learning English. Um, I already speak English fine, thank you. You will learn to improve your English with the one and only Siri. Here she is now. Hello, Siri. Welcome to our school. Hello, Mip. It's so good to see you, buddy. Hey, who's your new friend over there? He's little. Oh, hi, I am Robo Edward. I am little because I am a mini. But, you know, I already know how to speak English. I know you already speak English, but you have to learn to speak clearly and also use big words sometimes. For example, can you say locomotive? Of course I can. Locomotive. No, the proper pronunciation is locomotive. But that's what I said. Locomotive. No, that's not right. Bad mini. I'm throwing you on the floor now because you're not listening to me. No, it's not locomotive, it's locomotive. You're saying it all wrong. You need to stay after school in detention. Next up, Oliver versus James. I don't know what that says. You don't know what it says because you don't know how to read. Reading is very important and fun. First, you must learn your letters. Once you learn letters, you can form words. And once you form words, you can make sentences. And then you can read all kinds of fun and exciting books. Reading is so cool. I can't wait to learn how to read. And now, Porter versus Rosie. Welcome to music class where we like to dance and sing and learn to play instruments. I'm not really much of a dancer. Sorry. Okay, no problem. Let's have you do some singing for us. Karaoke is not really my thing either, but I'll give it a try. Here it goes. I'm getting some feedback from this microphone. <coughs> Let it go. Let it go. Turn away and slam the door. I don't care what they're going to say. Let the storm rage on. The cold never bothered me anyway. Okay, I think we 
we'd better take away that microphone. The judges don't seem too pleased. Finishing up the quarterfinals, Henry versus Percy. Welcome to science class, where we learn all about living things and how things work. Today, we will be doing a dissection. We could dissect something from the jungle like a cheetah or a tiger or a gorilla or even a giraffe. Otherwise, we could do something from the ocean. Go find something that is not alive! Okay, then, let's dissect this mini here. I thought kids in junior high typically dissected worms or frogs, but okay, let's give it a try. I've always wondered what a mini looks like on the inside. That is both weird and interesting. I enjoy learning how things work. Semi-finals time, Luke versus James. Hola, I am Senor Mip. We will be learning Spanish today. It is important to journey beyond Sodor and learn about new cultures and their languages. Spanish is spoken all over the world and we need to check your Spanish settings. How do you say Thomas in Spanish? That's easy. Thomas. Very good! Now can you say, I am from the island of Sodor? Soy de la isla de Sodor. James goes on to the finals. Who will he face? Porter or Percy? Do over. Uh oh, better try again. Oh no. We must settle this by a coin toss. Heads, Porter wins, and Tails, Percy wins. Tails it is. Percy goes on to the finals. Since you didn't really get bumped off the end of the track, I am going to take you to recess. You can play all kinds of sports and games with your friends. I want to play too. Let me show you my skills. Watch this. Robots may be smart, but apparently they're not very athletic. Final round, Percy versus James. Welcome to math class. Since humans don't always have the best math skills, they rely on us robots. Let's try you out, shall we? What's one plus one? That's easy. One plus one equals two. Impressive! Now let's test your multiplication tables. What is eight times six? I have calculated that 8 times 6 equals 48. Oh, yeah, that's right. This little mini knows his math, and it makes me want to dance. Percy is the winner! Fraud alert! Fraud alert! Oh, no. I've been exposed! Attack the traitor! The traitor must be attacked! Let's get him! He is a fraud! We must knock him down! Let's use our combined strength on the count of three! One, two, three! Uh-oh! I'm in trouble now! Thanks for watching the Choo Choo channel! I have programmed you to click subscribe now!